we get a lot of, you know, fellow professionals in the industry that will say to us, man, it must be really nice to have all of those committed students. You know, I would really like the opportunity to coach people that understand what goes into getting better. And I kind of chuckle because I'm like, I got the same phone call you got. They wanted a golf lesson. They just wanted to get better. But like I always say, they didn't know what they mean. So it's like, we didn't get committed students. We We're building them. We cultivate yes. good students. Yes. Right? And I think that there's just a massive step that is overlooked and, and missed in most you know, golf professionals' repertoire, how they run their business, to where they deep down know what it takes to get better. They deep down know the growth mindset that's required, the work that's required, the failure that's required, the time commitment that's required. But, you know, whether it's due to club policy, you know, financial constraints, the worry about not being able to fill their book because they need to appease to the culture that's been created of instant gratification, they bend over a little bit and say, hey, yeah, I'll put you on my book because I'm trying to fill it. You know, and the, the ironic part is, you know, I won't go into too much depth with that today, but they end up feeling worse off about themselves because they didn't stay true to their standards. They end up getting a student that's not the student that they want to be coaching, getting poor results and feeling even worse about themselves at the end of the day. So the question I'd ask them is, it, is it really worth that dollar? 